Okay, now we are done with all necessary theory. I can start looking at analytical chemistry of electrodes. So, we are coming to chapter electrodes and potentiometry. And we'll look at reference electrodes and indicator electrodes. So, potentiometry. In the simplest case, um, light is electroactive species that can donate or accept electrons at some electrically conductive electrode, for example, at platinum wire. The electrode that responds to an light is called indicator electrode or equivalently the working electrode. This is electrode that indicates the species that we want to analyze. We connect this analyte half cell to a second half cell by salt bridge. The second half cell has a fixed composition. As a result, it has constant potential. Because its potential is constant, second half cell is called reference electrode. The cell voltage is the difference between variable potential of the working electrode and the constant potential of the reference electrode. So now, indicator of working electrode responds to an light activity, well, responds to an light concentration. A reference electrode maintains fixed reference potential. First, silver-silver chloride reference electrode are the most common reference electrode we have. The reaction is AgCl plus one electrode making Ag plus chloride. We already looked at this equation before. Its potential is E0, uh, 0 0.25. Two volts, and its second type electrode. Chloride ion concentration in uh, the cell is constant, fixed by solubility of KCl, which the solution with which solution is saturated. Alternatively, you simply can keep uh, concentration of KCl constant. Therefore. The cell voltage changes only when a uh, quotient Fe2+, Fe3+, changes. Now, the voltage really tells us about uh, activities. Uh, but in this class, we actually do not need activities. We will generally neglect activity coefficients and write the next equations only with concentrations. Now, to make a reference electrode in a beaker is very inconvenient. Uh, instead of that, we are using a more sophisticated device. This uh, figure shows how electrode is constructed as a thin tube that can be dipped into an allied solution. It has wire lead, it can be silver or more commonly platinum wire uh, then at the end it's covered with silver and on top of silver you have a layer of molten silver chloride added to the surface inside there is solid KCl with some additional silver chloride and uh, at the bottom there is porous plug for contact with external solution instead of just usual salt bridge. We, we do not uh, use hydrogen electrode 
as a reference electrode. Why? Because it requires hydrogen gas and freshly prepared catalytic platinum surface for running. It's difficult engineering. It can be easily poisoned in many solutions. It's simply inconvenient and very expensive. Alternative to silver electrode is calomel electrode. So here, instead of silver, we have liquid mercury with uh, Ag2Cl2 mercury chloride and KCl. Now you have uh, saturated KCl solution, same way as in silver electrode. Calomel electrode contains mercury and uh, is less convenient than AGCL because of environmental restrictions. Still, it is used in some cases. The most common metal indicator electrode is platinum. Platinum is relatively inert metal. It does not participate in most of chemical reactions in solution. Its purpose is simply to transmit electrons from or to species in solution. Gold electrons can be used instead of platinum, uh, but again they, they are less convenient. Sometimes people use various types of carbon as indicator electrodes, because rates of many redox reactions on carbon surface are fast. Metal electrodes work best when its surface is large and clean. So, uh, on the right, there is a platinum electrode that is made by depositing thin layer of platinum on the glass surface. In this case, you do not need much platinum metal, but you have very large surface of electrode. This is exactly that type of electrode we were using for silver titration. Just in that case, uh, the, it was uh, silver deposited on the surface of platinum metal. Usual silver electrode uh, can be made simply of silver wire. In this case, voltage uh, is some constant depending on uh, number of parameters, and it is function of log of silver ion concentration multiplied by 0, 0, 006. Silver electrode can be used as a reference electrode to measure silver concentration or as indicator. The reaction at silver indicator electrode is Ag plus plus one electron to metal Ag. We already use this electrode in lab 5. Again, alternatively, you can deposit silver on surface of platinum and uh, you'll have very high surface area and this electrode will be very convenient.